So today we're going to look at a three-phase distribution board from Contactum. I've mounted one up here behind me and we're going to look at some of its features. But first of all, I'm going to pose a question to you. So when is a three-phase distribution board not a three-phase distribution board? It's not a three-phase distribution board when you convert it to a single-phase consumer unit. And that's what we're going to look at first. So let's delve a little deeper as we look at this distribution board, which is an eight-way distribution board, meaning that if we convert it to a single-phase consumer unit, that will give us 24 ways. The door itself has the ability to lock it off with a key, and if we do this, oh, one of us at eFix loves a mechanism, so that would make them very happy. So as I open it up, I'm now going to try and prove another point. I've taken from the World Wide Web common dimensions of double-decker consumer units. They're 20-way, and they take up approximately the same area as my cardboard cutout. So we can see that actually the room in which we're going to have added to this one with four extra ways and the room down the side makes this a viable proposition to a double-decker consumer unit in a domestic dwelling. Let's pop the cover off and see how we're going to convert this three-phase distribution board to a single-phase consumer unit. So with the cover off, let's look at converting it from a three-phase distribution board into a single-phase consumer unit. My main switch that I've selected for this board is 125 amps, triple pole and neutral. And my connections are for my three lines here and my neutral here. The screws are already backed off, but before I fit it, I have to remove this plate here. So let's pop that off and then we reinsert it once the main switch is in place. We take out these bolts. Okay, like so. And then we just clip it onto the back here. And then we can do the dim rail connections here and here in a minute to lock it off. So let's locate it in place, like so. And then we can look to move that into position. There we go. So I'm just going just gonna to hold it with one of those. And we can now do our tabs at the bottom onto our dim rail and replace these into place. Right, like so. Really important as well that we get the torque setting of these back to the required torque settings, and we'll talk about that in a minute. And another clever little feature, which is really simple, but I think more manufacturers need to do it. So they're back in place. Okay, we're now going to look at the conversion kit. So just hold on. So this is currently a three phase distribution board. I've got a conversion kit, which is in this little packet here. It simply is a bar to strap out the three line conductors and a replacement sticker for the consumer unit to show now that we're in, all of them are in the same color. In other words, one line and a neutral. The only important thing is that you put it in the right place. We wanna strap it across the neutral and it's gonna be across there like so. So your incoming cables would come into the bottom of here, but your incoming cables only be in one line and one neutral. Obviously you wouldn't tighten this up without the conductor being in. I'm just putting it in to hold it into place. So you tighten these three up with one line coming in, it wouldn't matter which of the three holes you chose to bring your line into. And then obviously we've got our neutral here that follows through and comes around to our neutral bars. Torque settings, really, really important. The torque settings are in the instructions. So I get the instructions out, like so. All of my torque settings are here. Fantastic, on the instructions. Likely to come away with me though, isn't it? So when I finish this installation, you'd like to think you'd leave them with the customer. You'd like to think the customer know where they are when you've left them with them. You come back and do electrical installation, condition report, add extra circuits. You're probably looking for that information when you add new devices in. Simple solution. A sticker at the bottom here tells you all of the torque settings, the main switch, RCDs, etc. They're all listed down here. What a clever little idea. I wish more manufacturers would do that. So they're on the instructions, they're on a sticker that will be permanently in the board as well. So let's do those to the required 3.5 Newton meters of torque. So we'd be talking these up to the required setting in all three cases for the lines, which effectively becomes one line. And we've got to get our neutral. like so. Okay, and now we'd be bringing our cables in, a single neutral, a single line, and then our protective earth, our earthing conductor. We've got two sides in which we can go, okay, in order in which one we pick. So we pick one side or the other. So that's it, as simple as that. One bar strapped across all three lines, meaning that this three-phase distribution board is now a single-phase consumer unit. 
So I've started populating what is my 24-way single-phase consumer unit with RCBOs. These RCBOs have a Type B circuit breaker with a 10kA braking capacity, an RCD rated at 30 milliamps for additional protection, and they are an A-type RCD. But what I couldn't have done was replace the main switch for an RCD because in the event of an earth fault and maybe with a fully populated board, it would disconnect all 24 circuits at the same time, therefore no selectivity. Therefore, in this installation, the RCBO is the correct device to choose. However, I'm sure throughout this video, you've been saying, Gaz, when am I gonna fit one of these in a three bed semi in Leamington Spa? Well, the answer is you're not going to. This would be a choice for me with a large new build or maybe a property that's been rapidly extended, maybe where the control systems for smart technology, the heating and the electrical systems are maybe centralized within the building and that building is electrically hungry. So in other words, maybe electric heating, EV charging point, and maybe even something like a hot tub. And the number of ways required exceeds maybe what can be offered by a double-decker consumer unit. And the other massive advantage of doing this is the amount of space you will get within this consumer unit in order to make those connections. However, as always, we're interested in your thoughts and we'd like to hear whether you've before taken a three-phase distribution board, converted to a single-phase consumer unit or something you might consider doing in the future. Please leave those comments below and in a future video, we're gonna be looking at this board from its aspects of being a three-phase distribution board. Till then, we'll see you.